sweetie. And I hope you have a nice day. Bye. Okay, so Bryony has just gone to work. She's obviously still working in Liverpool. It's super early in the morning. I have things to do. Apologies for the uh, quality difference. However, my normal camera, the Sony, the A6300, is charging. So I'm currently using my iPhone to shoot this for now. I am off work today, which is absolutely great as I have the chance to catch up on things that I have not been able to do over the past week or so. I have a couple of errands to run, however, one of which being going to the post office for Bryony. I'll be honest though, it's kind of fun actually being able to film on my phone. It's kind of freeing. It's not the size of a DSLR, what I usually carry around with me, even though my actual Sony camera is kind of small. However, the iPhone does have its limitations. The main one being audio, because obviously I have the iPhone 7, so it's not picture quality anymore, because the front camera is 1080. The audio quality though, because I can't actually attach a microphone to it easily, makes hearing things outside quite difficult. As letters go though, this is kind of an important one. As you all know, Bryony is staying at my house for the next few weeks, month or just over a month anyway. So that means that she can't vote in the next election. So she has to post off this thing to her local council so she's able to vote. So that's kind of important. But as a semi, 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 semi responsible adult, kind of, uh, I just want to say, Make sure you use your vote wisely. If you are over the age of 18 and live in England and obviously want to run and live in a decent country, make sure to go and vote on June the 8th. Definitely go do that, make it count. Anyway, as this is an important letter, I should probably hurry up and get it posted as soon as possible so it can arrive as quick as possible so she can actually vote on the day. now which obviously was quite a simple easy trip however I will say that post offices are bloody expensive and that that is exactly why you should use your vote wisely on June the 8th please vote for the people that are actually going to like look after you and other people and just the whole country don't just go and vote for the people that are egotistical and care about making money and obviously don't care about how this country is run really they just are in it for themselves and want to just further their own wealth and riches anyway enough about politics for now because honestly i am not the most educated person on politics i just know where i stand on my particular particular political views that's really hard to say let's not do that when you're drunk Anyway, today is Max Effort Monday. I have a few small other errands to run first, but let's be honest, the only thing I'm really going to include in this is the gym. And same as last week though, I am doing Max Effort squats, which will be squats with high bar with red bands. And hopefully, hopefully this week I can actually go full Max Effort, get myself some safety so I don't think I'm going to kill myself and actually try and be what I got last time and the time before that because for both times I've got 120 kilos and I really want to get at least 122 if not 125. Right so I'm back outside again just heading towards the gym the weather's okay and thankfully I'm on my actual camera which obviously is easier to use and gives a much better picture quality than my iPhone. Although saying that iPhones don't exactly have the worst cameras ever and actually great for people who are starting out vlogging or can't afford better cameras so if you'd ever like me to see me do a full vlog on my iPhone just drop me a comment below and let me know and I'll get around to doing a video with that anyway I'm just on the way to the gym now obviously I'm going to be doing my max effort lower which is high bar squats with red bands hopefully I'll beat last week anyway I've just been thinking that this is now the halfway point through my program I'm six weeks in and this is usually the point where I try to think how my program is going what I can improve next time and what I'm actually going to do next time to hopefully improve myself and this program because as every good lifter knows or any just good person in life and any kind of skill basically if you don't have a plan to move forward you're basically just going to end up moving backwards 
As you and I both know, I am running the conjugate method currently, which is not exactly a strict program. There are many variables you can choose. You can choose to do one exercise one week and then change it the next, or you can do one exercise the whole time. But yeah, this is something that I need to sit down, think about, and actually plan out properly. Otherwise, I'm not gonna make any progress, and I'll just stall and not get any stronger. The good parts of my program this time are, however, basically just the accessory movements I've been doing lots of quad work and glute work and then working on my chest and all that kind of stuff however the max effort work I may change next time as I've been changing stuff every two weeks and I think that may be a little bit too often a variable so instead of that I may go to three weeks next time so I have to do less exercises instead of more that'll give my body a lot more time to accommodate to what i'm doing and hopefully get stronger and build muscle in that specific movement instead of trying to build muscle in random variables all the time i'm not actually getting stronger in my main competition lifts however that's only going to work if i continue to have my max effort squat day on a monday and then and separate deadlift day later in the week however halfway through this program now i think that it may be a little bit too much volume and intensity having a separate deadlift day and a squat day and I may actually go back to how the conjugate method is supposed to be set up and have one week squat and then the week after have one week as max effort deadlifts. As you know I've only been doing that because my deadlift has absolutely sucked lately but doing six weeks of a separate day and working on technique and form and weaknesses has actually helped my deadlift feel a lot better somewhat. However after another six weeks and the weight's getting heavier and heavier I may end up crying breaking my body and obviously just wanting to not do this anymore because let's be honest there's no way I can continue to add weight each week going up and up and up because at the end of this program I'm going to be lifting three sets of three with 180 kilos and I've never done that before so if I continue next cycle I either have to take a massive step back again or up the weight and potentially either fail or injure myself or just whatever it's not going to work is it really was that shot out of focus? Was that last shot out of focus? I don't know. Looking at my screen, it looked out of focus and my camera's never done that before, so I apologize if it was out of focus. And yeah, back to the program. The main takeaway from this video is basically that I'm excited to continue moving forward and start a new program, even though I've got half a program left, which I probably shouldn't do. I should probably concentrate on the here and now, what I'm doing and try and improve this. However, it's always good to look to the future because obviously you don't want to just end up stagnant and staying where you are so yeah you kind of need balance in both concentrate on what you're doing now lots but also have an eye to the future and aim to do better then no doubt when i finish this program though i will actually get around to making a video like i did last time explaining what i'm going to be doing next time to improve my strength and fitness and what other goals i want to aim for but yeah meanwhile before then if you have any ideas or suggestions of what you think i should do or some stuff i should look at drop in the comments below we'll have a chat about it and i'll consider doing that next time anyway the time now is half past four i should probably hurry up because Bryony finishes work at like half five meaning she'll get home at about half six so i have about two hours to get to the gym get my session in and get home hopefully it's a good one wish me luck <laughs> Okay, well that was a pretty epic session. I managed to hit a PR on my foot squats with the bands. We got 122.5 kilos, which moved really well. Called it there though, because obviously I don't want to hit complete 100% and then like fail. So called it there, hopefully go up next time when I get around to it again. Other than that, I did my accessories a little bit differently this week. It was busy, couldn't do everything. So I ended up doing uh, Romanian deadlifts and then afterwards finished off with some lunges and then some close stand squats, which absolutely killed. 
bit of a happy accident to be honest because after doing that my lower back hurts my quads ache and then also my glutes are on fire so i may actually include close stand squats in my routine from now on as an accessory to my normal wide stance low bar squats anyway just nipping to asda need to go and get some food for obviously my tea and then rush home because Brianny is just getting the train which means i have about half an hour to get back so yeah hopefully you've enjoyed this episode sorry we didn't really get up to much remember to register to vote and yeah that's about it remember like subscribe comment share do whatever you want and i'll see you all next time Peace. I win. 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 I